Episodes 1 to 3 give you a lot of RF missiles. Episode 4, well, there's a death warp. You lose all ammo. And episode 5 and 6 have extremely scarce RF missile distribution. Good. You can hold down to accelerate faster, but uh, if you hold down too often, the screen will scroll down and the enemies will load sooner. And with the turrets in this map, that is bad. Some enemies uh, are helpful in other stages to load sooner. You can't kill that sword, but it's not that big of a deal. You should launch it anyway when you come by it. Here, it's not a problem usually. I was very, very close. Nice, beautiful stage. The medieval one was excellent. Okay. I stuck to the floor, which is perfect. Uh, you move down faster than falling when you run down the slope. No oh, launches. Ah, yes, yeah, launches. I merely didn't select them.
Oh, okay. Um, I forgot to shoot this the shield. That means I'll have to kill the final barrier. Or I could damage boost through the barriers at the end of the stage. Not sure what's faster. I'll just kill them. Hi Pyrosaurus. Uh, this run is going really really well. Um, episode 1 is tight in the PvE and I still beat it. So I'm super happy. jump. Nice. I didn't fail the Techno R Spring a single time today, which makes me super happy. Ah, that's fine. The run goes really well until episode 3, then I will pick an episode 3 on medium. Otherwise, I'll pick episode 3 on hard. <laughs> Even though it's very risky. I'll kill this for safety, okay. Uh, okay, somehow... There was a lot of dead space where the bouncy floors did not work on me. Push down, push down, push down. Good. Ah, okay, it's fine. I don't have the bird, but I was well aligned and I didn't want to risk turning to get the bird. It makes the boss slightly slower, but that's perfectly fine here. Oh, but this is so good. It was a gold in the PB, so this is an excellent orbiter still. jump to be in the top left corner. Yeah, medium. The run is too good to risk it. There's a lot of blue flowers on heart here. I'm meshing um, out of instinct. Ay, 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 ay. Hi Binary, yes, um, episode 1 could be retimed for a record, that's right. I'll have to look into it. The record is a 442 without menu, and this is a 444 something with menuing. Use, use the shields here, it's all good. And there's no blue flowers here, which makes me super happy. Good choice to play on medium. Play it very safe. Perfect. You only get one shot at it. With 
two shields, I won't jump for the invulnerability. Ah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a big mistake. No, how, how did I do that? What did I do? I didn't get the shield? This is not possible, I believe. No idea where the enemies are here. I got the bird even for backup. That went downhill surprisingly quickly. Okay, we'll see after the second stage how big the damage was from not getting the shield. Here, that's standard. Ah, it's a massive plus. Still, we'll play on <laughs> because there's 12 seconds of time save in in Pez Rock. You can aim for that. was extremely fast stairs. I still don't know how that comes together. jumped really quickly after TNTing for the fast feet. Take the damage as early as possible here. Perfect. Jump. Wow, nice. Wow. 
Now Jungrock again is a gold in the PB. I didn't press. Jungrock uses the very hard uh, launcher kill at the end of Jungrock 2. I will be I will be aiming for that. It is a risky move. And you risk falling down the final shaft if it doesn't work in Jung Rock 2. Even on hard, there are no enemies here. Oh, got it. There are different methods here and the damage boost is not the optimal method even if it goes in the right direction. But everything else is crazy because it depends on alignment how you come out of that destroyable pillar. That was very, very close. I should uh, spend more time killing that dragon. Strange mistake, not fine. Good, good. I was looking at the launcher pickups and wanted to jump for them <laughs> as if I forgot the route. Good. Yet this red bat is hard to kill. Always have to jump, maybe even have to use RF missiles. Good slug again. That's what we want to see. Diagonal clip, I still don't get it every time. But, uh, nope. 
There we go. Took me a couple tries this time. Shoot through the wall. That is easy though. <laughs> Once you know that that works, it's easy to get it right. <gasps> okay. I could have boosted. I'm always scared of that damage boost though. Got the fast damage boost, very nice. And since this is uh, still possible to PB, I will not take the carrots. In the marathon run, I would take them. <clears throat> well, unless the marathon run was this good, <laughs> then I would also push it. It would be strange to get, um, since the marathon is commented in German, it would be strange to have a, a PB with German commentary. But yeah, if, if it unexpectedly goes well, then yeah, I'll still push it home. missiles here because you don't want the launchers but they are in the way you don't have to kill that turtle you can do it without killing it good perfect Meshing was not a hundred percent, but it's still good. Easy. Six. This already saves three seconds over record because I selected medium and had to back out to the main menu. Because uh, switching to easy is worth it. I practiced this before. Oh wow. And I golded Pezrock, but it doesn't look that good here. It's fine, I'll go for the invulnerability and it should still make it. The invulnerability is not my usual strat, but it is a very good fallback strat here if I have only one health. I'm aiming for having three health here and then getting through with more damage boosts. I'll go for the risky boost. Ah, fine. Luckily, uh, there is no problem with health on this map, but still, every time I boost badly, I lose time. Map gives you carrots. Uh, wow. How many different, how many wrong damage boosts did I take? Three or four? It's a lot. <laughs> and yet we save time because yeah, the PB is is not good here. Good. <gasps> ah, that's that's it. I think <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> hey, I I got a good backup.
Ah, little. Okay, I didn't get hit. Normally, if that pattern happens, I'll get hit. Good. clicked into the boss. <laughs> that would have been the best surprise yet in this run. Ah, too high. There we go. Now, not happy with the bird clip. to get him before he jumps okay otherwise it's it's no chance at sub 28 but even this is probably not it no. <laughs> not sub 28 yet But these splits are probably even better to run against. Well, there is the big time save in Mega Base, which is sad, but everything else is just nicely redistributed. The Pest Rock is, is much, much saner now to run against. <laughs> GG, ah, thanks. Ah. The third temple is unbelievably sharp, but yeah, that's expected from any gold. It's it's super close. <laughs> ah, what do I do? 2801. <laughs> I wonder what Wartail will say about this. <laughs> I guess he really wants to see the sub 28. <laughs> and it looks in 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 episode three, this run looks horrendous, but. Every run has mistakes somewhere. We got a really clean episode one that is very hard to beat. 